Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you like this video, come back tomorrow. We don't know what we're doing tonight yet. Look at my crazy we're... hair. I think I'm wearing the same outfit I was wearing in the sign off last night. Yeah, wait, we're having a delicious dinner. Check it out. Well, that's all dinner is. <laughs> no. Piece of lettuce. Because, you know. Veganism. It's healthy. Just kidding. We got all kinds. Of, that looks like oatmeal. Is there oatmeal in there? There's a little bit of oatmeal in there. What it's like that? a little banana concoction. Ooh, fried sweets. bananas. Oh, so we're gonna make these have delicious rice wraps with rice, then this, and then those tomatoes on top. This really strangely colored shot because of the, <laughs> we have no lights in our apartment. <laughs> the main one we had broke. It was brought to you by our little arts, artsy I have a headache. And the moral of the shot is, what was Sarah supposed to do that you didn't do today? It didn't break. The light bulb just went out. That happens. So oh, we're happens. not talking about the light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was supposed to do a food video today. And I did. And so now I have to put it in a lot of extra <laughs> <laughs> so today's video is sponsored by Sarah Brookhart Design LLC. No, it's Sarah Brookhart Creative. You don't even know my company. <laughs> so this today's video is sponsored by Sarah Brookhart Creative in contract with DJI drones. Just kidding. What if we just went to like an epic drone shot? <laughs> Whenever we get our DJI. Magic Mini, we will. Anyway, I gotta go on a run. We're gonna go to the movies later, but because I gotta go on a run and we're going to the movies, that means it's all, it's all about Sarah. But I love those kind of vlogs. Do you, Peter? Do you even watch our vlogs? Did you know what today is? Did you guys know what today is? Well, side sad note, we officially are gonna cancel our cruise today. Oh yeah. That's we got the notification and we got the documentation from our clinic that says like, Did you hey, submit? no, I didn't yet. We will. Okay. But it's like official. We have a medical documentation saying that they do not advise us to go. So we are canceling it. I told everybody at work. Everybody cried. Everybody hugged. <laughs> it was actually there were no hugs, but there were people very upset. Yeah. You guys in the comments have been very upset yeah. as well. So. But today yeah. is my last run before Dopey 2020. I had to go do six miles and we're gonna try to go park at Crescent Lake and go to my old stopping grounds. I loved when a handful of you, like I love all, when all of you guys were tweeting at us during my runs, cause I get them on my watch. They really do truly help me during my races. But the people who are like, like I almost cried during Dopey last year when I was like hurting, getting through the marathon and I was going through the Boardwalk Beach Club or Yacht Club and people were tweeting at us being like, According to the tracker, he's at Boardwalk right now. Let's go, Peter, it's his home turf, because I run there so much, and I haven't run there in a long time, so I'm excited to go back there and run there tonight, almost as like a little dry run, to stretch the legs before right. Dobie, yeah. yeah. Guess where we are, guess where we are. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay, my, you hit my watch. Oh, so. We can hear the crowd at Hollywood Studios cheering for um, the Star Wars fireworks. Yes, I don't know how many more times I can park at the boardwalk with the Earhart's not being here. I know, but I can't handle it. <laughs> anyway, the skyline looks like it's shut down, which is weird because there's definitely human beings on it. Yeah, for sure. Um, we don't have that I, much time. What should I do? Um, Sarah has a book to read, headphones to listen to, she needs to vlog. I'm going on a six mile run at Crescent Lake. We have a movie in like an hour and 35 minutes. At Disney Springs. Guys, I'm breaking the rules tonight. I don't think I'm breaking the rules, but it's like, is it breaking the rules? What? I don't know. I'm going to go on a run and... Jump in the pool. <laughs> jump in the pool afterwards <laughs> and change into my clean clothes. So I'm not really going to go swimming. It'll be more like I was walking next to the pool and a ghost pushed me in. <laughs> the... Um the ghost that followed you home from the lesson you're on the hill. So oh, you're oh, oh. Um, it's so fresh, so fresh, so clean, so clean in here. 
All the Christmas is gone. <gasps> the first poster we've seen. Ooh. Ooh, it starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Santa's coming from. Wait a minute. What? Oh, it's just the full marathon that starts at 5. Oh. The other one started at 5.30. What time is that? <laughs> Oops. 10. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. I was anticipating 10, 5 a.m. We'll tell our friends. I'm ready to do it. There's nobody here. Yeah. It's not like a really big chicken. <laughs> I have to go outside. I have to put on my shoes. Okay. Are you cold? <laughs> I don't even know the temperature. You're going inside. I know it. Uh, maybe. Do I have to run six miles? It's your last one. It's so chilly. Are you okay? Who else is running their last race before 2020? I hope I got that. <laughs> Do a cartwheel. This is your, this is your cartwheel space. No, we don't need you to be injured before. Okay. Ready, set, go! Ready, set, go! I'm going home, getting McDonald's. I'm, I'm getting you vegan. running away from me. Ready, set, go! I'm gonna walk over there and stretch a little bit so this is. Ready? I don't want to mess up, Ben. Everything's off. Go! I've just been sitting here reading my book. I saw Peter Pass um, one time, so I don't even know how much longer he'll have to run, um, but I wanted to share a little insight from this book I've been reading, When Bad Things Happen to Good People. Thank you, Rocky, for sending this to us um, right after our miscarriage. I've been slowly reading it, but the insightful thing I wanted to share was that instead of directing anger and sadness towards myself or my body, um, for what we've been going through to take it out on the actual situation itself which I think is like can be used in so many different situations and even like it even says like directed away from loved ones so say like you're mad at somebody for some reason that directing that energy towards the situation is more helpful in the long run because it's not damaging relationships. It's it's more so what is out of your control and what sort, like not being so hard on yourself about things, not being so hard on others for things. So I just thought that was really insightful. I think I read it a couple of days ago. And even since then, like I've been able to use that mentality to help me when I've been upset. So I just thought that that could be helpful. So I wanted to share it. love Coney Island Chris um, so I also wanted to tell you guys that I really want to finish this book so that I can start my new book that my sister Jenna got me for Christmas and it is Becoming by Michelle Obama and what's cool is Barack and Michelle they went through IVF too um, and it's something because Walt Disney and Lily Disney they also struggled and it's just wild that like two notable couples that we love so much also went through this. I don't know, it's just cool. Like they get us and we don't know them, but they get us. I know Epcot Forever is about to start. So maybe I'll make my way over to the bridge to watch it.
so bad to just get a pizza from this window and bring it back for me and Peter to eat. Who I found. Don't you want a pizza? So many people. Why would you say that? I really want a pizza now. <laughs> because I just passed so many people eating pizza. There's no I vegan pizzas this. over there, right? I don't think so. I don't know if we could get it without cheese. Yeah. Guys, our plan backfired. <laughs> well, one, I ran way too soon after eating. Yeah. It was, I have like that painful gas. So I'm sorry if you're at the boardwalk and you saw me running. Not only did you see me running, but you heard me burping. Because I pretty much, I just ran six miles. I had a really good pace, even considering I walked probably half a mile throughout it, trying to burp up this gas from the dinner. From just, not like gas, gas, just like digestiveness going on. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, in my, my chest is in pain from yeah. the burps. And then the other backfire is the pool's closed. Yeah, pool's closed, so I'm a stinky, sweaty jump. pool. So we're not going to go to the movie. We're just going to relax the resort. And then we're gonna go home earlier. Because if we think about that, if we went to a 9:30 movie, it'd be like a 9:45, 9:50 start. Probably a two-hour movie. We're getting home at 1 a.m. We need to rest this week because we're not gonna get sleep the rest of the week, sure. starting tomorrow night. Oh, I love this hallway. I love this resort. It smells like fish. Oh, I don't think it smells like fish. It smells like must. It smells like a musty Midwest basement. Yeah, we love it because it's musty. Do you want to sit across from each other and play some chess? Sure. This is the Bellevue Lounge. I'm not good at keeping up with the trends of Disney stuff, but I think this is going to go away eventually for a quick service or something like that. I don't know these things. I could be spewing lies, but I love it. I just had an idea. What was your idea? Taco Bell? The DVD of Mom and Dad's. Not with us. No? We don't have our own copy? No. Why do I visualize it? I don't know. I wanted to like film the TV and show the surprise that happened. You could always try to ask your little sister. Just sitting here relaxing. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a radio right there and it's playing like an old radio talk show. I'm just sitting back and listening to while Sarah finishes her book. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, then you can start your Michelle Obama book. I about that. I Ooh. Look at that painting. Did you guys know I painted that? So I asked Christina about getting a clip of it. Um, it might not happen tonight, but it will happen soon. Cool. So the movie we were loving the Riviera, but the one big thing we said about it that we didn't like, like why are there like this random Disney I, I characters? That, like it's Disney characters in the styles. Of right. The Somebody so left like, that awesome comment about like yeah. depicting each of them were based so like on the famous styles people. Styles have purpose, but it's like the content doesn't really match. Okay. But like really here's the example of like what I was talking about. Like we're in the boardwalk. There's a beautiful painting of what looks like the boardwalk but isn't the exact same boardwalk but like no disney characters no disney characters just like area specific decorations you know yeah but there's like little little things here and there but not as like in your face as the paintings so i still like that but like that's the only thing i'd be like well but there's that to it yeah. now i really want a like deep dish castles pizza are, castles are over there but yeah like oh gosh it's gonna be cold but we need it because I think it goes up to 80 starting to what, tomorrow or Thursday. Oh, I don't know. It goes back up to the mid 80s this week. Peter's in the shower. I'm going to do this now so we can just sign off and go to bed. January 7th. I am going to make everything around me beautiful. That will be my life. I'll see you Wolf. All right. Tomorrow. <laughs> It's Starts. officially. Starts it all. It's technically and officially the start of Marathon Weekend. They always consider the Expo Day. It opens up at 10 a.m. and there's always going to be a long line and a rush and all the merchandise and all the cool things that. We won't be covering that portion. So. No, we'll get we'll get there around seven or between six and seven p.m. tomorrow. But either way, it'll be fun. Yeah. We get bibs, shirts. I emailed Run Disney about canceling our Cash Play Key Challenge, but maybe we can go to Runner Relations tomorrow and see. Yeah. I heard Run Disney is like notoriously bad about like 
not canceling our refunding for any reason, but all we can do is ask. Yeah. So we'll see. The worst they can say is no. Right. It's good to be home. It is good to be home. Dopey 2020. Here we come. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.